good morning good morning and it is early this morning uh, greetings to you we are recording is it live or is it memorex well now you know uh, i'm book study in shano today so i'm driving about the time that you would normally be watching this so i got up early this morning just for you just to record this for you for you so uh here we are on february 7th 2003 good morning everybody each of you individually and all of you watching here now or later i'm glad you're taking a little time to spend in god's word with me on this this uh tuesday morning so um <clears throat> being that i'm going to be gone and and not here um and also because it's early but yet not probably early enough i'm going to be a little quick today so we're going to get right down into this. Um, <clears throat> just for notoriety, we did get a little snow cover uh, here last night. It was supposed to be sleet, but it, it really was snow uh, that came down. It was kind of wet stuff and not a lot of it, but just enough to cover the ground and be generally annoying. Um, and the temperatures are supposed to be in the in the 30s today, mid 30s. Um, right now, weather service here at, at uh, well, I've, it's um, what is it? It's 20 after seven right now. Zan's having breakfast, getting ready to go to school. Weather service is saying 33 degrees uh, here in Irma this morning. So let's go ahead and get into this. If you have the Lutheran Service Book, page 295, Daily Prayer. For individuals and families, I've got my treasury right here. And we'll go ahead as we do each morning, as we begin our day in our Lord's Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm today, Psalm 4, all of it, verse 8, 1 through 8, of Psalm number 4. Blah. <clears throat> Excuse me, morning, morning. Gh. Answer me when I call, O God, of my righteousness. You have given me relief when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. O oh, men, how long shall my honor be turned into shame? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has set apart the godly for himself. The Lord hears when I call to him. Be angry and do not sin. Ponder in your hearts, on your beds, and be silent. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, who will show us some good? Lift up the light of your face upon us, O Lord. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. In peace, I will both lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I'm going to keep us moving this morning. We're going to go right into our reading from Job, continuing the book of Job here, chapter 4 now, verse 1 through 21. And um, Job's friend Eliphaz is going to start speaking now. And there are three friends that he has, and they all make accusations towards uh, works and not faith. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to hear here, but keep that in mind. So, Job chapter 4, verse 1 through 21. Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered and said, If one ventures a word with you, will you be impatient? Yet who can keep from speaking? Behold, you have instructed many, and you have strengthened the weak hands. Your words have upheld him who is stumbling, and you have made him made firm the feeble knees. But now it has come to you, and you are impatient. It touches you, and you are dismayed. Is not your fear of God your confidence, and the integrity of your ways your hope? Remember 
who that who remember who that was innocent ever perished or where were the upright cut off as i have seen those who plow iniquity and sow trouble reap the same by the breath of god they perish and by the blast of his anger they are consumed the roar of the lion and the voice of the fierce lion the teeth of the young lions are broken the strong lion perishes for lack of prey and the cubs of the lioness are scattered now a word has brought to me stealthily or a word was brought to me stealthily my ear received the whisper of it amid thoughts from visions of the night when deep sleep falls on men dread came upon me in trembling which made all my bones shake a spirit glided past my face the hair of my flesh stood up it stood still but i could not discern its appearance a form was before my eyes there was silence then i heard a voice can mortal man be in right in the right before god can a man be pure before his maker even his servants he puts no in even in his servants he puts no trust and his angels he charges with error how much more those who dwell in the houses of clay whose foundation is in the dust who are crushed like the moth between morning and evening they are beaten to pieces they perish forever without anyone regarding it is not their tent cord plucked up within them do they not die and that without wisdom this is the word of the lord thanks be to god so Eliphaz is beginning an accusation against, against Job. <clears throat> uh, he begins by, well, if I, if I, you know, if one ventures a word with you, will you be in pain? Can I say something here? Can I, is, will you listen to me if I speak? Yet, how can I not speak? And he goes on to tell Job what a wonderful, faithful man he's been and how he's built up others and he's given them strength. The, the, his confidence in the Lord has been, has been great. And, and people have seen that and they have grown in faith with the help of him. But now, now the troubles of man have come upon him. He's suffering. Um, and, you know, it's never the righteous who suffer right um the the upright are never cut off um it is those who it is those who are dealing with inequity who suffer um as we have seen as i have seen those who plow inequity sow in trouble and reap the same right and by the breath of god they perish and with the blast of anger they are consumed he's trying to say oh well you who were so high and mighty and who spoke so well when things were good, now that they're bad, what have you done that you become, that, that the suffering has come upon you? And that's where they're going, right? You must have done something that God is punishing you in this way, right? Now, how many people today think that way? How many people today think think that, oh, well, I, he, um, God is punishing me personally because I did something uh, wrong, and and um, now I'm now I'm unworthy. And, and and how many of those people who who hear that kind of thing then fall away from faith, begin to doubt that God doesn't exist anyway? And because it's better in a human thinking that God not exist and suffering is just the way of the world than God exists and He allow suffering to come upon us. But He does. He does it to test our faith, to see if we will remain faithful. He didn't make Israel walk 40 years in the desert simply because they had uh, done what he said not to. Um, he did it to test their faith. Uh, the original test, after a year of wandering the wilderness and they got there, they doubted him, and he sent them back out in the wilderness. And But even though he did that, their, their feet never swell, swelled, their shoes never wore out, their clothing never well out, wore, out, wore out, and they were never hungry. They had manna and, and, um, and birds to eat the whole time. They never lacked. When they were thirsty, he caused water to come from the rock. Um, God does allow suffering to come upon us. Um, and it's not hard to do. 
the world's filled with it. And we, because the world is filled with poor, miserable sinners. And since the fall, we've contended with that. Um, but what God does do is God provides a way out, an exit. Faith in Christ. Faith faith in God for the time of Job, trusting in him, knowing that the, the Savior would come one day. Um, and, and for us today, faith in he who was the firstborn of the dead. I mean, if, if, I mean, if God let this happen, right? Let the, let the cross of Christ reign forth, then what we suffer is nothing, right? I mean, Christ went to the cross for the purpose of saving us from, well, from sin, death, and hell, the power of the devil and despair. Um, which we would face without, without his, oh, what are the words I want here? Without his, well, without his gift of grace. But we've received that grace. And so now even in the midst of suffering, even if we suffer as Job is, sitting in the ash heap, scraping sores with pot shards, and hearing these words of his friends who say, well, you must have done something so awful that God is doing this to you. We could say, no, I am faithful to God. God is allowing this upon me. God give me strength. And he does. I think that's what the psalmist is saying. And that's why I was able to go so pat, far past it. Answer me when I call, O God, of my righteousness. You, you have given me relief when I was in distress. Be gracious to me and hear my prayer. And he does. And he gives us strength. The strength to endure. And those who endure build that strength. And that strength builds character. And that character builds confidence in his word. And that confidence in his word comes from him and helps us to endure until life everlasting. Job suffers, but he suffers with the understanding that God loves him. And even the suffering is a witness to who he is. Amen. Let's look to our prayer of the day. Almighty God, you created man and woman and joined them together in holy marriage, thereby reflecting the mystical union between Christ and his bride, the church. By your infinite goodness, let your blessing rest upon all husbands and wives, that they may live together in your glory in this life and with joy may come to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we continue this morning with the Apostles' Creed. I, <clears throat> clear my throat, I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And we are bold to pray, as our Lord taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And for ourselves and others on this Tuesday morning, precious saver, precious saver. Yeah, it's the food saver. We just we stick people into vacuum bags and they're good to go, and it'll be all right. Isn't that precious? Let's try that again. <laughs> precious Savior, you search me and know me. There are no secrets I can conceal from you. My heart, mind, and life are filled with sin. The good I do, the good I want to do is not what I do. I keep doing the evil that I do not want to do. Have mercy on me, O God. Comfort me 
with the mercy of your cross. Remind me that you have suffered, bled, and died for me. Let me live in the light of your grace, confidently knowing that as far as the east is from the west, you have removed my sin from me. I am forgiven. Show that same steadfast love, mercy, and grace to everyone who struggles with guilt, addiction, spiritual affliction, and temptation. Help them, strengthen them, protect them, beat down the work of sin, death, and the devil in their lives. Remind them that you have engraved their names on the palms of your own hands. Do not let them be lost in despair. Let them take refuge under the banner of your cross. I cast all my cares upon you this day, O Lord. As you have promised, sustain me, rescue me, deliver me, be my rock and my fortress. For you are my God. You are always with me. I have nothing to fear. You have spoken, and you will do it. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing and comfort upon those who are suffering. As those in, in the nations to the east of Turkey and Syria still recover from the, from, the, from the earthquakes, and as those who have suffered loss mourn the death of those who, who were, well, who have died, uh, near 4,000 now, O oh Lord, we ask your mercy upon them. Point them towards your Son and the promise that he gives of everlasting life. If they be outside of the faith and the church, then use this opportunity to show them who you are and grant them the light that comes only from you. Be especially with those two who have asked for our prayers, Pat, Lois, Anne, Brianne, Rose, Bob, Mike, Megan, Dan, Ezra, Neely, Jeremy, Ashley, John, Renee, Shazad, and all those who call upon your most holy name. Grant them strength for each day of their lives and comfort in their illness, but always assure them of the promise of life everlasting that comes from your Son by your grace and mercy alone. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to, you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, my friends, that brings our recorded devotions for this this uh, Tuesday, February 7th to a close. Sorry I couldn't be with you live today, but I'll be back here tomorrow, Wednesday morning with you. God's peace be with you. Um, remember, in the midst of suffering, pray and call upon him who has promised to hear your prayer. God's peace be with you.